Season 5 of NBA 2K22 has launched, people are reacting, and on top of that, 2K Sports just acquired three licenses for three new games they're gonna be working on. Hey look man, there's a lot to dive into, first of all, if y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Bro, it's gonna make me feel better, I found out I tore cartilage in my wrist. On my other channel, I was boxing low and I landed a punch that didn't quite land right, I shot with my wrist. And, and you know, it's like, hey man, sometimes it happens, so we'll see how the surgery goes. The surgeon told me that the more likes, the more successful the surgery, so, hmm, <laughs> you're not gonna to hold me back are you i'm trolling but thank you guys for watching let's get into it all right first things first nba 2k22 said boom season five is upon us first of all let's start with the fact that there's not much hype behind this at least like from my vantage point people are like excited for something new but no one is like breaking down doors to pop on season five of nba 2k22 nba 2k put out this tweet saying anime themed courts are now in current gen for season five and they actually look good. These are the most colorful and vibrant and actually pretty cool I've ever seen NBA 2K courts look in the history of the game. So to me, it's a welcome addition. Hopefully we can see more of this. I can't imagine why not. Anime theme, they know who they're appealing to. Potentially the dribble heads. Now there are, there's a decent amount of crossover between people that play 2K and people who appreciate anime. So this 2K just showing them some love in season five. So everybody was asking the question, do the people that hit legend start back from level one? Answer is yes. So here's power drop the screen. Screenshot as soon as the season started saying confirmed legends start over at level one So even if you have completed a legend you can still complete the level 40 grind every season because you're that type of guy Aren't you you play the game 40 hours a day, don't you? <laughs> but once you reach level 40 depending on the affiliation that you're affiliated with well you get a mascot The mascots work a little differently this year badge plug. Uh, he's not too happy with it I think the mascots are nice except the Knights one. I don't know. It just looks weird my Favorite is a Viper. What about y'all? And man, what am I looking at? What the f it, how, how is that a beast of the east side? Come on, bro. This literally looks like a troll version of the Cookie Monster mixed with the big blue monster from Monsters, Inc. This is the Western Wildcat, which, in my opinion, looks decent. Here's the North Side City Knights Heights. I actually kind of fuck with that one. And then here is the South Side Viper. <laughs> it looks a little odd, but it's cool, though. Bro, the knight looks like just like Boba Fett. I don't know what it is, bro. He looks just like Boba Fett. So if you ever wondered, are mascots going to be in the game? Well, here's, here's your answer. So they got new ones for you in NBA 2K22. But not everybody was happy with it. I mean, aesthetically, some of them kind of look odd. I mean, JA says here, this is what we're grinding for with the screenshot of the beast of the east side. He just looks funny. I don't know what it is, man. He just looks funny. Power says, why is 2K determined to have everybody rocking the same rewards? Nobody wants to wear the same mascot as everybody else. And he makes a fair point. I mean, in the past, when you reached mascot, you had like dozens of different mascots to choose from, depending on what your favorite NBA team was. So even if a plethora of people reached mascot, there was still like enough diversity because there were a lot of mascots to choose from. I get what Power is saying. I trust him. He's a tryhard at the video games. And he's saying like he just loses interest in mascots because everybody has the same ones. Although I do think they look good. It'd be nice if there was a lot more variety. Maybe some customization allowed to the mascots would be nice. But anyway, 2K released, you know, their seasonal update. There was a lot more my team related stuff than city or park. The vibe they're going for is power within. They say become the hero of the city and the Concha Del Mar deserve and reach your fullest potential as a legend. If you love dropping VC so Ronnie could buy his new Ferrari, they got new apparel drops as well. Dim Mac, Jordan X Rui, and Hyper Fly. If you're the type of person that boots up the game and see what's available to buy in swags and then turns off the game, you might want to boot it up real quick. You might be wondering, are there any gameplay changes? Not really. I mean, they added Dirk's retired jersey to the Mavericks arena. They updated a whole bunch of scans for all of these players you might be familiar with. But if you're looking for something to get excited about on these very dry patch notes, 2K says they've made updates in preparation of the My Team Unlimited 250K tournament. They've been doing it for the past like number of years now, and there's usually like a lot of flagrant cheating involved where people just like boot others and things of that nature. 250K is on the line, and 2K never enforces any rules, so people say, hey, why not? But aside from that, like when you hop on, the game unlikely you're gonna notice a single difference in terms of what the gameplay feels like people began immediately getting pessimistic the mascots is cool but it's not the mascots people were used to i guess it's something new instead of the same refurbished things over and over and over again but at the same time you know that in a few weeks time because people have already hit level 40 everyone's gonna have the same mascot so it's not gonna be as exciting to have something if everybody else has it especially when there's no customization available i mean dignify tweeted saying it's something about a new season start 
starting, there's not being any hype for it, and it being tough to get people to play. Kind of weird this year. I don't know. Follows up, it sucks, man. Like the game in general, too many isn't too bad. Never really had too many complaints about the gameplay because you kind of deal with the broken stuff. But when they have bad rewards and nothing added to change the how builds play, make them better, it gets boring. And it immediately had people like Davo reminiscing about the times in NBA 2K19 where they had a fantastic experience. And to be fair, it was a much better game. That's the nature of gaming. You're gonna appreciate what you were experiencing now, probably years from now. Doesn't necessarily mean the game's always gonna be great, but even me, I hated 2K18, but looking back, I still hate 2K18. My point is, is that looking back, I at least know that I had a fantastic time playing Pro-Am, as bad as the neighborhood was. So as it relates to the patch five, I mean, there's not too much to talk about, but this, at least for me, is where it gets interesting. So bro, I saw this report here saying that 2K Sports secures a Lego license for sports games. Interesting piece. One, I thought Lego was exclusive with some other company. And two, they mentioned games. Are all of them going to be Lego games? Does this explain the fact that 2K has been hiring a lot more developers? And they tout that stuff in their earnings reports. They talk about how many people are hiring the company, et cetera, et cetera. The reality is they have so many new games they're adding to their roster. Those new developers aren't working on the game that you want to get improved, most likely. But something interesting might come afoot, like it's a sports Lego title. We don't know how that's gonna go. So I decided to search up some articles just to get a little bit more information, but check this out. People with knowledge of the plan said that the Lego group is looking to increase its video game output once an exclusivity deal with Warner Bros. expires, okay? 2K signed a multi-game partnership with the toy company for Lego Sports line of titles with the football soccer game developed by Sumo Digital. They also mentioned a racing game that's gonna drop, but this is actually an important note. They, they're saying it's developed by Visual Concepts. Those are the guys that work on 2K, which like, I'm not gonna like ring the alarm bells or nothing, but it's like, man, there's already not enough going on with 2K. You mean to tell me the same guys working on 2K are gonna spend their time working on a Lego sports title? <laughs> like, it just doesn't feel like the appropriate thing to do given how broken 2K always seems to be. I personally have never played a single Lego game. I don't even think I've seen gameplay of a Lego game in my life, but I always see him at the store, so somebody's buying them. If you ask me, I think 2K is trying to like appeal to the real boppers out here, bro, like the five and six year olds, which makes sense. 2K wants people to be fans for life. You get them at an early age playing the Lego games, and then they're eventually gonna grow into the simulation games, and there's gonna be plenty of like, bro, they can jump from a golf game 2K has, to now racing games 2K has, to basketball games 2K has, and we know that 2K is interested in doing something in the arcade football department because EA's exclusivity license only applies to simulation games. So long story short, 2K is coming out with so many new IPs and titles and different licensing agreements that even though they're hiring more people, it's probably not gonna go towards the game that you really wanted to, which sucks. I get how business works at the end of the day. Like they just wanna diversify their income. They don't know how much more 2K could possibly grow. They'd rather pivot more into the mobile market than give a fuck about the consoles. It is what it is. But it's like, man, it doesn't help, bro. I, I, I'm, I can't help but be fucking pessimistic. But you should probably be excited knowing that 2K has the game. They're probably gonna add a lot of microtransactions, but they might make it a better game in, in the process. I don't know if you guys knew, but Take-Two was literally about to collapse. Like the company that owns GTA, the Red Deads and the NBA 2Ks. About 15 years ago, they were on the brinks of collapsing. To come back to the point where they're one of the biggest publishers in the game, they're obviously doing something right. Every time I look at their earning reports to check how their stock is doing, it's going higher than it did previously, but they're doing something right. So they're gonna continue to move in the direction of what's working and what's correct. That being said, season five, a little underwhelming. It's gonna give me a reason to wanna hop on the game and play for a little bit. I'll see what the changes feel like. Am I gonna grind to level 40? Absolutely not. I have too many things going on during my day. And if you guys wanna see those too many things, well, I have like five other channels on YouTube. You can watch me do anything from React to stream clips to a second channel where I go outside and do IRL content. All of that, link in the description depending on what you're interested in. Hey, uh, otherwise, man, if y'all missed the last season update, you wanna catch up on everything that's changed last month in NBA 2K, go ahead, click that video. Otherwise, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.